Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to talk about the integer and floating point data types. Looking at the text editor here, you can see that I have six variables defined. Three for the integers and three for the floating point values. An integer is simply a whole number, positive or negative, and we can go to a maximum value of a little bit over 2 billion, it's like 2.1 billion numbers. So again, that's 2.1 billion positive or 2.1 billion negative. So 5 is a whole number, negative 1 is a whole number, and 0 is still considered a whole number. So those are a couple examples there. Floating point numbers are simply decimal numbers. Numbers that have a decimal point in them and then some value afterwards. So at the very least, they have a zero afterwards. So 5.0 is a decimal number or floating point value. 3.5 and negative 2.5. Pretty much the same rules apply. They can be positive or negative, except floating points can hold much larger values than integers. Notice that 5.0 as an int as a floating point value and 5 as an integer are numerically equivalent, so in other words, if you look at a number line, they are the same value, um, except for they're just expressed differently. One's expressed as an integer, one is expressed as a floating point, but they are the same value. They are both five. We can perform different arithmetic operations on them. We can add, subtract, multiply, and divide integers and floating point values. It's worth keeping in mind, although you probably won't have to worry about it much, but it's worth keeping in mind that you can only perform operations on the same data types. The reason I say you don't have to worry about it much is because PHP is very good about determining which number you will need to convert to the other type so that you can perform the action. So I'll just give you an example here. First of all, if we just add two integers together, so if I say print, we can do math right inside of a print statement. I'll say print 5 plus 5. And we'll save that. I'm just adding two integers, 5 and 5, so we should get 10. And of course we do, we get 10 there. Or if I go 2.5, and 3.5. So I'm now adding two floating point values together. So if we save this, so we should get 6, and it adds them together to get 6. Now here's where it gets a little bit tricky. If I put 5 in there, these are two different data types, so technically you're not supposed to be able to add these together or multiply or divide and so on. PHP, though, is very good about determining what type of data needs to be converted. It knows that you can't convert 3.5, because in order to do that, you would have to convert it to an integer, which means you'd have to round it down to 3 or up to 4. And by doing that, you would be losing the 0.5 value. So you don't want to do that, because you're losing information, and that's always bad. So it converts 5 to 5.0. Again, 5 and 5.0 are numerically equivalent, so you're not changing the value of this by adding a point zero to it. But now you can add these together and not have any problems. Now you're adding two floating point values together. So it converts that behind the scenes and you never see it happen. It just happens at runtime on the fly as it's actually performing this operation. So it's worth keeping that in mind, although you probably won't have to worry about it much. In the next three videos, I'm going to talk about strings, booleans, and arrays, each in their own video. So check those out.